Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea back here again for my team selector ahead of the game against Leicester City in the FA Cup quarterfinal tomorrow afternoon. The games are just relentless, aren't they? No time to savour our biggest win of the season against Man City. It's right on to another massive game and a chance for silverware for Chelsea this season. Frank Lampard potentially to win his first uh, trophy as Chelsea manager, which would be huge. Even if fans can't be in the stadium to see it, I think it'd still be massive for Chelsea and the progression of this squad, especially some of the young players. And then, of course, with this game as well, it's against Leicester, a team who were now only a point behind in the Premier League, the race for Champions League qualification, the narrative around that, the narrative concerning, of course, Ben Chirwell, who could very well be a Chelsea player the next time Chelsea and Leicester face each other next season. So you've got that, that I'm sure will be a big talking point throughout the game. And also how I think both managers approach this game because both managers want to get Champions League football next season, qualify for it. Um, Leicester, of course, their form recently has been really poor. The nerves coming in there may alter the way Brendan Rodgers approaches this game. Now, Leicester have had more time to recover after their game against Brighton on Wednesday compared to Chelsea against Man City on Thursday. But I'm also intrigued to see how Lampard approaches this game because, of course, rotation is imperative uh, considering the amount of games Chelsea have to play in a short space of time but it's also keeping that chemistry and momentum of Chelsea's brilliant performance on Thursday. So it's interesting. I think midfield, that the two number eights, which I think is going to be a big thing for Lampard going forward. He started it before lockdown with Barkley and Mount. He's continued it post lockdown. And now he's having Kante basically as the holding midfielder. Whether Kante will actually start, we're going to have to wait and see based on rotation and based on the fitness of players. But this is my team. We're sticking with a 4 3 3. It's the system that's worked for a number of games now. Chelsea are on what, a four game winning streak? Let's hope they can make it five. Um, Kepper in goal. Back four, I'm going to keep the same. Um, for me, it's like with all of those defenders, I think the only reason you're rotating them is because of fitness, which of course we don't personally know at the moment. The fitness levels, whether a player needs rest at the moment and whether Frank wants to maybe prioritise West Ham. But at the same time, I think Dave has been absolutely exceptional since the restart. Rudiger and Christensen were brilliant the other night, so they're going to remain as my back two. And Marcus Alonso, for me, is streets ahead of Emerson. You know, in terms of actual percentage, I saw a stat about win percentage with Chelsea, with and without Marcus Alonso in the team. And it's night and day, really. Uh, Emerson, I just think his future at Chelsea, really, I, I can't see it anymore. And I think he will be leaving in the summer. I'll be stunned if Emerson is still a Chelsea player next season because Alonso is Frank's first choice. And I can't see that changing for Sunday's game. Midfield free. I'm still going to have N'Golo Kante as the holding midfielder. Billy Gilmore or Jorginho could come in here to rotate it around, but uh, Kante has been brilliant once again there, really helping to protect that defence once again, which hasn't been there in the past. The two in front of N'Golo Kante, I'm going to bring back Mateo Kovacic, who only came off the bench on Thursday's game. I think he'll likely get a start ahead of Ross Barkley and Mason Mount once again starting. Ruben could start here. Frank wants to bring him back into the fray, but I think uh, Mason Mount has performed really well, adds that energy and pace, and Frank really wanting those that midfield and especially real pace and energy bombing forward which Ruben can potentially give but I think fitness wise and the way we saw him against Aston Villa I think you're gonna to have to be patient with Ruben to bring him back so I'm gonna stick with Mason Mount and hopefully he can have another good game uh, and in the two wingers I'm gonna go with Pedro I think Pedro might come in here for Willian of course Willian has played uh, both games so far so I think Pedro of course now signing that contract extension for a little bit I think that uh, Frank will want to bring him back maybe in of course he came off the bench and could have scored uh, uh, the third for Chelsea on Thursday. So I'd like to see him start. And then, of course, Christian Pulisic. You have to start Christian Pulisic. The man in form. Can he make it? Uh, what, three goals in three games? Uh, it'd be really impressive. And I just think, even if he doesn't score, I think the influence of Pulisic in Chelsea's attack, looking dangerous going forward, I think is so key. Um, so really, for me, even though it's in the FA Cup, I think you still have to play Christian Pulisic. And I'm going to make a change up top as well, bringing back Tammy Abraham. I think he deserves to start this game after the influence he had coming off the bench, really helping Chelsea get back on the front foot um, so I'd like to see him start and potentially get a goal I believe his last start for Chelsea was against Leicester that game back in February in the Premier League and of course he got injured and then Giroud came in for him so this would be his first start I think back and I think Frank will like to bring him back and maybe rotate Giroud and Tammy uh, for these games uh, so that is my lineup my team selector for the game please let me know your lineups in the comments below but thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video if you did enjoy it hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea. Have a great day and I'll see you again.